Um, and Enzo Macronelli is on the line. Now, Enzo Macronelli, what I've got to love about Enzo Macronelli, okay, is that let's not mince our words, okay? He lost a couple, and then it didn't look good. Then he lost one again, and it was tough. It was hard. The amount of soul-searching that must that was necessary just to get himself up in the morning, let alone into a gym, was amazing. But he turned it, turned it around with a couple of quick wins, but the quick wins against guys he was obviously going to beat. But what's more, it was back, and you could just sense it was back, and he knew it was back. Anyway, in April of this year, he travelled out to uh, St. Petersburg against the guy who'd owned, I think he'd only lost one in 20. And that's a tough old... I mean, St. Petersburg's a hard place to win. You know, Russia's a hard place to win a title fight. He went out there. Anyway, first round, bish, bosh, and bang. He won the vacant European Cruiserweight title. He defends that title on September 18th on the massive show at the LG Arena uh, up in, in, in Birmingham. It'll be a European title defence against Alexander Frankel. And uh, right now, I'm delighted to say that he is uh, he is on the line now. Enzo Macronelli, how are you, Enzo? Good Steve. How are you, boss man? You okay? Yeah, good man. Yourself? Yeah, this is a pleasure. I'm fantastic. Pleasure getting you on. Pleasure, <laughs> pleasure getting you on. I've been let down by a couple of people tonight. Ends. First of all, mate. Uh, uh, we talked about a year ago or a bit more than that ago, and your head was right. It's still right. Still in the right place. Yeah, I'm saying, mate. Come back to basics. Uh, come back. Come back to things that got talked me to a world title, and you know, just feel just feel all around happier person. Yeah, good because you, 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 you were, you know, you were very flat when it was going bad. So we got this guy Frankel. We don't take anyone lightly, especially guys that are being thrust at us European, European level. What do we know about him? Yeah, he's, he's strong. He's a come forward fighter, which is gonna, it's gonna suit me. But uh, again, you know, they're making big, big fuss of him over there. Same, same as what he's done with Kotler B. Uh, yeah. But you know the fact of the matter, you haven't fought anyone who's who's been brought over there to hit him back, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be hitting him back. They, they, they've got some business going, haven't they, in, in in parts of Russia and in Germany with these Eastern Bloc fighters. They just keep churning them out, don't they? Yeah, they, they you know they come in thick and fast, and you know the majority of them are good fighters as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all generally well schooled ends, aren't they? To be honest with you, mate. So even if they're yeah, not. They, they, they all do the basics very well. Yeah, even if they're not super sexy fighters, but they are. <laughs> they are. No, I mean they are really all well schooled, aren't they? And that's you can't ask any 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 more than that. What's the? I don't like to look forward ends, but I've got to. It's my job. What what might happen after September 18? After you've got rid of uh, Kotlerby? Uh, I, I don't you know. To be honest, Steve, you know I am pushing uh, for a world title again. Um, you know the Dennis Labadev's and the Morton, yep. the WBO. You know that that would be something I'd like to. Uh, Avenge, you know, I got yeah. a few things you want to put right that way. Yeah. But you know, I leave, I leave it up to Frank Warren. You know, he, he's been good to me, he's shown faith in me. Uh, you know, I appreciate that. I'm going to return the faith. So, you know, where, wherever he decides he wants to put it in front of me, I'll knock him out. That that Lebedev fight. I mean, that was the that was this one of the strangest fights. And I've been at ringside, you know, a good few years. That's one of the strangest fights I've ever seen. Uh, ends. What what what? I mean, I've, I'm, I'm sure we've talked about it before. Maybe we haven't. What went wrong that night? Because you just presented yourself for slaughter. It was bizarre, wasn't it? It, every, it was everything, mad. Everything I'd done in training was foreign to me, Steve. You know, yeah. I'd, I'd done a lot of work. But, um, strength conditioning, coaching. You know, cut my running out. Yeah. So all in this power. No, no. Even on like, like you know, normally as soon as I got my gloves on, I start punching walls. Uh, yeah, of you know, course. That's my way of you know pump my. Pump. Yeah, getting up so, for it. Yeah, they had me on the floor stretching and relaxed and calm and you know just everything was foreign to me and I, you know I just went on constantly you know we had the real arguments of which way I was throwing my hook you know they, they went there more uh, textbook where I thought, which I was trying to make a feel the power in it but you know I tried to throw my speed shot and you know to be honest I was just confused but it came nothing away from that every morning done uh, but you uh, but you know, it was it was just it was just total confusion going on in my head that night, and oh, that's really? that's the reason why I decided to to carry on and um, change change trainers. Just come back to business. Just come back. Oh. Listen, and. Listen, Enz, it's um, it's it's a bad old line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you there. But listen, Enz, I will speak to you. If I don't speak to you before September 18, I'll speak to you after 18. It's going to be a lot of fun watching you get back towards a world title, Enzo Macronelli. Top so, man, thank you. Now listen, keep the train. Enzo Macronelli there, always turns up, always saves, always gives his best. And in that fight against Lebedev, it was kind of he just wasn't right, and he went in and he just I don't think Lebedev could believe what was going on. To be perfectly honest with you.